Good morning and welcome to PCTV News. I'm Taylor Hopper. And I'm Tristan Studeville. Today's word of the day is bedash. To dash or spatter something all over. Today in history, Hank Aaron of the Atlanta Braves tied Babe Ruth's home run record by hitting his 714th round tripper in Cincinnati in 1974. For lunch today, there will be cheese pizza, fish clipper sandwich, salad, and barbecue bar. If you missed Jostens today for cap and gown delivery, they will be back next Friday. Thespians will have a short meeting today from 2.45 to 3.15 to discuss their banquet. If you're interested in helping to plan the banquet and select awards, please attend. Also, Writers Inc. will meet Monday after school in the Library Media Center. Prom tickets are still on sale before and after school, along with after prom tickets that are sold for $5 each. At after prom, remember, juniors and seniors, if you stay the whole time, you're eligible for a $250 grand prize for juniors and a $500 grand prize for seniors. On Saturday, April 12th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., there will be an open house for Mizzou Veterinary Medicine. Admission is free, and it's fun for all ages. Students, you can now download free flashcards for the SAT, ACT, AP World History, and AP U.S. History exams on your cell phone. Studying is now made easy and convenient. Check it out at captest.com backslash free flash. There is one last engineering day at Maple Woods left on Wednesday, April 23rd from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. To sign up, go to the website below. Now, let's send it off to Abby for today's sports and weather. Thanks, Tristan. In sports, girls varsity soccer defeated Raytown South 7-0 last night, and JV finished 6-0. Good job, girls. If you have any younger siblings interested in playing baseball, the Pirate Baseball team is holding a youth <coughs> camp April 19th from 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon on the Pirate Baseball field. Make sure to go online and get them registered. Dance team is holding a tryout information meeting and intro clinic from 3.30 to 4.30 Monday in the South Gym. Color Guard is also holding clinics that are running Tuesdays and Thursdays until April 10th in preparation for tryout clinics on April 15th. Girls basketball players, your award ceremony is tonight at 6.30 in the Wilson Center. Now for weather today, we're going to have a high of 50, but with the wind it's going to make it feel a little cooler out, and this evening it's going to drop down to 30 with clear skies. Tomorrow, you can expect warmer weather, though, with a high of 60 to start off your weekend. That's all I have for sports and weather. Let's send it back to Taylor. Thanks, Abby. That was awesome. On April 21st, Maple Woods will be here from 8 to 12 in the library lab for any seniors who have been accepted. You can come and enroll in classes with a representative from Maple Woods. Now, here are the five things you need to know for the day. NBC's NBC's Today Show unveils a unique art exhibit this morning, George W. Bush's Paintings of World Leaders. Economists expect a government report today to show strong growth last month after adverse weather held down payroll gains most of the winter. Today also marks the 50th anniversary of the Fab Four's remarkable billboard coup when their songs occupied the top five slots of the singles chart, a feat never repeated. March Madness Music Festival kicks off in Dallas today, which is held in conjunction with the NCAA Tournament Final Four. The first come, first served event has a slew of rockers on its roster and will feature a live broadcast of the first national semifinal game on its second day. Today is also a Friday of Gaga. She's set to take over MTV, MTV Hits, and Logo TV all day. And with that, let's send it off to Austin to hear from a couple successful alumni. Many students dream of success as they graduate Platt County, but here are some alumni who made that dream reality. I graduated from Platt City High School in 1963. So I graduated from Platt County in 1984. I was very involved in um, their theater department and in their singing department, which um, I didn't do a lot with professionally but it's now um, music and theater has been a really big part of my life basically since uh, since I graduated whether it's singing in church or um, community theater and now I sing in a band um, a classic rock band. I would say the uh, uh, early lessons I learned growing up in Platt City in that small town uh, and I still have lots of friends there uh, have been invaluable to me 
throughout my life. Uh, I, I learned certain disciplines there and, and was uh, through the schools, was given a great background uh, that enabled me to go to a large university and, and compete and, and do well. So uh, those things I, I hold dear to my heart and uh, uh, it's there for you at Platte City and, and, and in the school system. It, it does hold and always will hold a, a very special place in my heart. There have been many successful alumni at Platte County and you could be the next one. Great job, Austin. Until next time, Pirates. Have a great Friday and enjoy the weekend.